Hi, um, thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on panel ARDL model. So, uh, panel ARDL model, uh, which stands for panel progressive uh, distributed lab model, is uh, a model used when you have, uh, first of all, panel data and you have uh, uh, variable data. Uh, uh, not uh, all stationary and especially when they are stationary uh, in order 0 and 1 respectively so uh, that are some of the precondition to run autoregressive distributed lab in uh, model in EU so uh, you need first of all to import your uh, data as panel so I have made a series of material on panel data analysis that you can use uh, in order to, uh, uh, to know how to uh, perform uh, importation of uh, panel data analysis in EVUS. So, uh, first of all, we will uh, show you how to uh, test for unit proof. Uh, so, we will look at the variable, uh, for example, GTP. Uh, per capita GDP uh, in constant uh, US dollar. So we have GDP in constant US. Open the variable by double clicking in the variable. So go on view, uh, unit roof testing, click on it, and you can choose uh, one of uh, the right, one on, on the wide range of option of uh, unit group testing we have living lean true we have uh, so many other tests like uh, Isha augmented careful or uh, so we choose uh, the first option for example living lean true and you can see that uh, variable is not have a p-value of 0 0.99 meaning that uh, so uh, coming back from the different option of the unit group test, you have the possibility to choose for uh, individual intercept and trend, or individual intercept, or even uh, none of none uh, of the two uh, previous options. So we choose the option uh, with uh, individual effect, for example, intercept, for example, and we click on OK. So we have we can see that our uh, P value is 0 0.99, meaning that uh, we can reject the unit proof test, which is the null hypothesis of our test. So, uh, our variable GDP in constant uh, US dollar is not uh, stationary. We can look at, uh, we can go on view and see that uh, in first difference choose the option for different we can see that our variable GTP is uh, stationary due to the fact that the p-value of the test is uh, less than 5 percent 0.0007 meaning that uh, our variable is uh, stationary in difference so our variable is integrated of order one. So you can also see for example the variable uh, inflation, inflation uh, consumer price index, uh, and look at uh, stationarity. We have uh, unit roof. We come back on uh, level uh, unit roof testing. And we see that uh, our p-value is uh, less than 5%, 0 0.002, which is uh, 0 uh, which is 2%, meaning that our variable inflation is uh, stationary. So we also have variable as like exchange, exchange rate, which is uh, not uh, stationary as we can see which is stationary uh, that this is a lock of uh, exchange we have uh, exchange red exchange red view uh, unit of testing you can see that exchange red is not stationary in level so we 
can go on uh, first, uh, first different use testing and we see that uh, our variable action rate is uh, just uh, stationary because of p value very close to zero. Now that we have tested for uh, unit roof test uh, for the unit roof in our series, we see that uh, our variable GTP is uh, not stationary, it's stationary, it's integrated of all one. We have inflation which is stationary, we have uh, uh, action rate which is uh, integrated of order one. This condition uh, that we are going to model a, a GGP to, have to see the impact of uh, variable like, like exchange, exchange rate and uh, inflation on GGP, we cannot use, for example, standard bar uh, in panel data because all our variables are not integrated of order one. So uh, we should uh, apply for auto racing distributed lab model that will show you a little bit sooner how to run in EPU. So let us go in quick estimate equation. Uh, we choose our dependent variable uh, GTP, GTP in constant US dollar. We have uh, uh, our variable, uh, our dependent variable is will be followed by independent variable that are Exchange rate, exchange rate, and inflation. Exchange rate and inflation. So we have these two variables. Uh, we have GGP, uh, which is integrated of all the one. We have uh, exchange rate integrated in all the one and inflation, which is, which is a stationary value. So uh, to run uh, auto aggressive distributed lab model. Let us go on uh, the method uh, option and choose for uh, PMG ARDL pool mean group progressive distributed lab model. So we choose for this option, and we here we can choose for uh, number of lab, lab number of uh, maximum lab number for independent variable and maximum. Lab number for a, a for independent variable. And you can uh, choose whether uh, uh, to fix this lab uh, number, but you will choose the automatic selection, and you can choose to put a uh, constant or none on in our equation. So we let the constant option, and in this option, you can choose for uh, the criterion that will be used in order to select the uh, best model. We can show we have a Kaike criterion, we have twice criterion, we have uh, an Anquin criterion. So we let for now the uh, by default uh, option, which is a Kaike information criteria, and then we click on OK. And you can see that our progressive distributed lab model has been estimated. And we have uh, here in the first uh, side of our question, the model selected is a ARTL222. So uh, 2 is the lack of the dependent variable, 2 is uh, the lack of the first independent variable and two is the lack of the uh, second independent variable. So uh, our GGP cover have two lags while uh, exchange rate and inflation have two lags in our equation. So we can see in the long run uh, relation that uh, non-variable there is no significant variable, even exchange rate and inflation doesn't uh, significantly uh, influence the uh, GDP. But in the uh, that is in the long run, uh, the long run uh, that is in the long run, the long run relationship equation. So in the short run relationship, you can see that the uh, our co-integrated uh, coefficient is. Uh, negative and bad and significant minimal so we can also interpret a different coefficient in our model so we can for example uh, uh, 
look at uh, other estimation using Schwarz criteria. Click on OK. And we can see that uh, Schwarz criteria has selected uh, the model 211, 211 model, two for the dependent variable and one for the independent variable. You can also look at uh, the third criteria, which is uh, an unpoint. And we can uh, just see that uh, there is almost the same situation, 222 model, like in the first uh, the first situation. And we can go on our view to see for a residual diagnostic and choose for uh, histogram normality test and we can see that uh, the p-value is uh, almost uh, not, uh, almost zero meaning that our uh, residual are not uh, normally distributed so there are uh, also so many things that you can do in, uh, with uh, autoregressive distributed lab, you can go on view and see estimate uh, and uh, look for example for model selection summary and see that uh, there are many uh, models that have been estimated and the model 222 uh, ARDL was selected due to the fact that this model minimized the anand point criteria. So that's it for this uh, tutorial video on ARDL model and we, have, we hope this uh, tutorial have helped you very well understand uh, the autoregressive distributed lab models.